measure of cultural heritage is a huge success and shows how many Europeans care about cultural heritage. In the 2019 European Parliament elections, the European Association of Archaeologists, together with national partners, is using benchmarks for archaeology and cultural heritage. The aims of these benchmarks are, first, to prompt politicians to position themselves in topics concerning archaeology and cultural heritage. Second, to allow the public to make informed decisions at the voting booth. And third, to hold politicians accountable for promises they make during elections. Large infrastructure projects have enormous impacts on historic landscapes in Europe. With the environmental impact assessment, EU legislation has an excellent instrument to negotiate best solutions between the stakeholders in the planning process. But on a national level, governments and companies often find ways to avoid an environmental impact assessment. The European Parliament could help here to better protect historic landscapes in transformation processes. Farming, forestry and other rural land uses account for more than 80% of the area of the European Union. They have great impact on the landscape and the archaeological and cultural heritage features contained within it. To further develop the EU common agricultural policy would be a major steering force in the process to avoid, mitigate or ameliorate possible impacts, to incentivize and remunerate farmers for the protection and production of landscapes, and to substantially enhance the environmental and climate performance. The illicit trade of antiquities is still a severe challenge within the European Union and we would like to know what the future European Parliament is going to do about it. Fighting these illegal actions is essential to protect archaeological heritage and more resources and collaborations are needed in order to do so. Well, uh, transnational mobility is an increasingly important topic for archaeologists because of economic conditions and economic cycles in different countries. And there are significant barriers at the moment that will hopefully be overcome by increased standardization across different countries. Archaeologists Scientists uh, should publish their things for free as open text, open access, open data and so on, and they will do so. But uh, they often need pictures from things which are in public institutions and they need permission for it. And this permission can be a, a prohibitive thing uh, between the publication and the pictures. So if you don't get easy permission to use pictures from public institutions, you can't publish them. And we want to ask the political part parties of Europe whether they will support us in getting pictures for free for academic publications or uh, if they want to keep the actual state uh, where you need to collect for each picture you use a permission from each institution which gives it to you.